So I'm here to talk about what is liberal arts. But in order to do that, I think we all need to have a common definition of um, what it is. So Webster's Dictionary defines liberal arts as college or university studies, as language, philosophy, and literature, intended to provide chiefly general knowledge and to develop general intellectual capacities as reason and judgment as opposed to professional or vocational skills. So that's a really big definition, that's a really big mouthful, um, but there are two things I want you to remember from that. The first is when it says uh, intended to provide chiefly general knowledge, and the second was when it said to develop general intellectual capacities. So why liberal arts? Why am I up here speaking to 1,200 of my closest friends uh, about liberal arts? I always go home for uh, holidays and breaks and my family and colleagues even ask me, what are you going to do with that? And a lot of people get that question, a lot of college students will get that question. But the follow-up question is the one that really differentiates. They always ask, why not pick something more technical, like nursing or engineering, something that is definitely going to get you a job? And I never know how to react to that question. Um, but my response is that I love what I'm learning. I love going to class and then reading the headlines in the newspaper the next day. And what I've learned in class is right there in the headlines. I love learning more about our shared humanity and I love more learning more about what governs our everyday lives. So there are two ways that liberal arts are still useful. The first is uh, going back to those two things I wanted you to remember from the definition. Uh, to develop intellectual capacities and to um, intended to provide chiefly general knowledge. So liberal arts is meant to be broad-based. It's, it's meant to give you a very open mind with a specific set of skills. Um, and a student who is trained in liberal arts is able to take that broad education and deal with the ambiguities of life. And what I mean by that is life isn't clean, it's not simple. There's a lot of hard decisions and opinions to be made and in, in order to do that, you need to have an open mind. You need to be trained in not only the sciences, um, fields like STEM, which is science, technology, engineering, and math, but the liberal arts as well so you understand what is going on around you. The second reason liberal arts is still very useful is slightly more cliche and I touched on it earlier when I mentioned uh, why it matters to me. Liberal arts is still useful because it gives you a sense of personal content. Um, I'm not gonna make as much money as someone who is a doctor or in NASA um, or doing research in a lab, but the fact that I can apply my knowledge to everyday use is something that no one can ever take away from me. Um, my knowledge is intangible, it's unable to be measured by money, but it is still very relevant and still very ap applicable in today's society. Um, it also enables you to ask questions about the world and it, it allows you to analyze the world around you. Why does this matter to me? What did I just read in the newspaper? And literature has showed us what the world would be like without liberal arts. A lot of that classic dystopian literature such as 1984, Brave New World, um, or Fahrenheit 451. So why does this matter? Why do liberal arts still matter? I want people to realize that liberal arts do still matter. It's still very applicable in today's society. Liberal arts focuses on what is. We focus on the current state of politics or economics. Where is society going? Um, philosophical questions, anything you can really think of. We focus on what is, so we're able to contribute to what will be uh, through improvements, suggestions, writing to your congressman, uh, just talking to your neighbor, anything. Uh, Michael Lund is a political writer and he has a great quote and he says, in a democratic republic, isn't it necessary for all citizens to have at least the basics of a liberal education? Even if their participa participation in public life is limited to voting occasionally, citizens cannot adequately perform that minimal duty unless they have training in reasoning and rhetoric. So that's another really big quote, what does that mean? liberal arts is still important so that citizens understand what is going on around them. In a democracy, whether or not people still believe this is true, the power is supposed to come from the people. So in order for the people to be educated and make decisions, where is society going? Who do I want representing me? In order to do that, they need to be educated in, in the sciences and what's going on around them, the world around them that governs a lot of their everyday lives. 
ultimately, some people may walk away from this TED Talk, they may leave this event today, and they may continue to call these studies useless or soft majors. But liberal arts should be considered as the one thing that might keep humanity grounded as we move into a world where science and technology reign supreme. Liberal arts allow for self-expression and fulfillment, and they allow for constant analysis of the world around us. So again, as the world moves again. into a society where science and technology reign supreme, don't count liberal arts out just yet. Thank you. Thank you.